So everything I'm saying you can hear through your headphones currently at the moment. A little pillow talk coming into your ear there that nobody else can hear. Yep. The other two guys can't hear what I'm telling you at the moment. So whatever I say is between us for the rest of the evening. Pretty much. So nobody, how low can I talk? You can hear this? Yep. That's crazy. <laughs> what if I went from this to like a really loud scream? <laughs> <laughs> Where we no shake time. <laughs> Anytime I'm with you, uh, <clears throat> we end up with the milkshake in our hand within a couple minutes. Oh, did I put it in reverse? No, yeah. I'm hoping that this way is south. Pretty much take any name and just break it up and put a the in between. So instead of Bigfoot, it's Big the Foot. Adam the Woo? Where'd the Woo come from? Basically the way it started is I was working at Walmart and they used to sell these little stamp pad sets with tweezers. And you would take the tweezers and you would take this rubber and you would pull apart these different letters and you can make a return address stamp label. This is mid 90s and I was bored waiting for the Lynx bus after work one day. And I just came up with all these weird names and one of them was Adam the Woo. So I just left it in there. And when I would pay my bills, I would use that as the return address stamp instead of my real name. So I put Adam the Woo in my address. And I just kept using that forever on the return address stamp. And then when all the social network started, I started selling stuff on eBay and uh, you know Facebook and then YouTube and all that. I just used that username. Adam the Woo, and I just stuck with it, and that's why I always use that name. It all started from a little stamp pad set. It means nothing, absolutely nothing. People, people think it means something, but it doesn't mean anything. It's a pretty dumb name, actually. It's a pretty pointless name. Let me know if I get in your way or if we're being too annoying. Oh, yeah. How long does it take you to normally shoot a video? Not very long. It just depends on what the subject matter is. The movie locations we usually take a day or two. Right. Just because I line up all the shots. But like something like this, I can film it in an hour, two hours. Oh, that's not bad. And I usually film it how I'm going to edit it. I don't really have a lot of wasted footage. So I'll just film what I know is going to be in there and just... Ooh. Sometimes you get lucky out here. Monetary gain. I wanted to be a baseball player. That did not work out. So I'm now currently not a baseball player. 
So my second thing would be to work in some sort of video aspect. Uh, you bring up the TV aspect of it, that doesn't interest me at all. I'm not saying I wouldn't turn it down if it happened. A shotgun just went off in the blast. I don't know if you heard that through the microphone, but that was scary. If you'll notice, we're in the middle of nowhere. Rollin'. I'm gonna shoot this one too. I'm gonna... Uh, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Come in. It even sounds more epic. Epic. Because that sun is coming right through that shield. It's really gonna do its job. You get, I mean. Who is Adam the Woo? And what was the kind of the hope about posting them online? Why did you even do it to begin with? Why really just, just to get someone interested in watching something that I created. It wasn't in the hopes of getting a lot of people watching it. It was just the excitement of someone that didn't know who you were stumbling on something that you created. And then when people would leave a comment, someone that wasn't a friend of mine, someone I had never met, just a normal person from somewhere else in the world, that just kind of blew my mind. And it made me get motivated and maybe decide to make more videos. That just kind of steamrolled the whole thing.